My passion generally is just about the world itself. I think the world's fascinating, it's beautiful, it's captivating. I mean, so much of it is just unbelievable. As much as I can learn and understand and appreciate the world around me, I, it's just fascinating and I love it. How did you become a Paralympic basketball player? And a friend of mine said, oh, I should come along and see what it was like and I just jumped in the chair and fell in love. I was reading Harry Potter at the time and I just thought it was like Quidditch on wheels. It was brilliant, fun, exciting and it was so nice to be able to play a team sport with people again and that sort of thing. How did the London Games inspire you? Often people see the physical limitations but despite that you have people out there achieving things that most able bods couldn't or wouldn't yeah. do. So it's just an incredible experience and I find it constantly inspiring. What is your goal for the Paralympics game? It's going to be a tough competition for us. But certainly uh, we, we got silver in Athens and bronze in Beijing. Oh, yes. So there's one colour missing yeah. is what I say. That's what obviously we're aiming for, yeah. Putting on the green and gold every time is amazing. It's, it's a beautiful feeling to have that opportunity to represent your country and, and get out there. As you describe yourself as a philosopher, what is your philosophy in life? Just generally, I think it's important to be, to be kind and compassionate to everyone and, and, and everything in the world, you know, all of, all of the animals and, and beings on this planet deserve our respect and love and compassion, so I that's think it's, philosophy. yeah, I think that's important.